your case going to be? Barbara Miller from Middletown, Rhode Island, is 67, married, and busy raising two grandchildren. She developed emphysema from years of cigarette smoking. I smoked for 40 years until they told me I had to give up smoking. I gave it up 11 years ago, but that's what did it. I wish, you know, you can't take anything back, but, you know, look what it did to my life. When Barbara's cancer was discovered, it was still localized to her lung. Normally, surgery would have been the optimal course of treatment, followed by radiation and or chemotherapy. But her emphysema complicated the situation. Doctors now believe that when the cancer is confined to the lung, a procedure called radiofrequency ablation, or RFA, may be an option for lung cancer patients when age and overall health prevents utilization of other treatment options. Dr. Damien Dupuy is the director of minimally invasive therapy and ultrasound at Rhode Island Hospital in Providence. Radiofrequency ablation is a technique whereby a needle electrode is placed into a tumor. That needle electrode is connected to an electrical generator, and this electrical circuit that is connected produces frictional heat as the electrons are flowing back and forth into the tissue. As the tumor heats up, the cancer cells die. There have only been about 1,500 lung ablations performed in the U.S. out of an estimated 1.4 million new cases of lung cancer over the past nine years. Dr. Gulam Abbas at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center says many of his patients need the RFA procedure to avoid further lung complications. RFA uh, is a very localized treatment, does not cause any compromise uh, to the uh, already poor pulmonary functions. Uh, it just treats the tumor and we treat the one centimeter area around the tumor so it does not destroy the lung. Barbara Miller is convinced the RFA procedure worked for her. I don't even get short of breath. And then a lot of people don't believe that they took my cancer away from me, but it's true. I know they did because I know how good I feel and I know I haven't felt this good in years. Time was very much a deciding factor for Bill Morgan, who runs a small business from his home in Warwick, Rhode Island. Now 80 years young, Bill was in the Navy during the Second World War, but he began the battle of his life two years ago when he was diagnosed with lung cancer. The alternative was invasive surgery. They would actually take off the bottom of my right lung, which you know, that's, it's your two or three months recovering from that. And uh, do I need any other reason to say why I went to ablation except that surgery is very invasive and painful and uncomfortable and... We're able to treat these frail elderly patients successfully with this procedure because it's a small puncture into the lung and by and large, 90 to 95 percent go home the same day. So it's a very non-toxic procedure even for this frail group of people. More RFA trials are currently underway and doctors expect to have even more definitive analysis about the procedure within the next five years.